This book was inspired by the birth of your son. Yeah, I didn't think I cared what the gender of my child was until I saw the sonogram. Right. And then they, they told me the splotch was a penis. And I suddenly just freaked out and I pictured having to teach that penis like how to play baseball and that penis wanting to go camping. The penis, penis doesn't penis have penis to play. know those things. That <laughs> you teach the boy and the penis comes I along. I didn't know how it worked. It was all very confusing. <laughs> so you were, and I, I know what you're talking about because uh, sometimes you can have moments of being intimidated as a dad. I have a six-year-old boy and you know, you go to throw the baseball with him and then you're trying to remember, wait a minute, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. It's been a long time since I threw a baseball. Well, I never threw a baseball. Right. So I had to go learn all this stuff you know, from the beginning. Because when I was a kid, I like, I had a glass animal collection and I had an easy bake oven. You, wait, you had an easy bake oven? Yeah, that you can make cakes right in your own room. Right. Yeah. I would layer them in manly ways with frosting and stuff. But I, yeah, I was, I was basically a, uh, I was a gay man trapped in a straight body. Yeah. yeah. So you understand. I do, yeah. I, All right. I this is I incredible. Here we go. This is an incredible encounter. Uh, <laughs> Now, did you, 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 you talk about one point, you, you went to go get your testosterone level checked. Did, yeah. Is I, that, you, you wanted to get your testosterone level checked. Yeah, well, I was concerned. Uh, so I had, you know, this testosterone thing became a big deal. So like 10 years ago for a column for Time Magazine, I got my testosterone checked and my doctor is sick of me asking him to do stupid things just so I could write about it. Yeah. So he, he, but he did it and he told me it was totally normal. And I pressed him for a number and he refused to give it to me. And then eventually he did, and it was like barely normal. I was like two points on the guy side of testosterone. So now Suzanne Summers has been tweeting me last week telling me to start taking testosterone. Which uh, Suzanne Summers she's is, very, she's, I know about this. She's concerned about yeah. guys' testosterone. Wait, why is Suzanne Summers concerned about men's testosterone level? And why do you know about this? Because yeah. she was on Oprah talking about when she, if I'm not mistaken, for, for women, she would rub a hormone on her vaginal area. <laughs> And so I... <laughs> wait, wait, why? What would that do? You realize we're not talking about your book anymore. <laughs> Fine with that. What? Wait, why so what she... are you talking about? So no, but, why okay. would she rub male testosterone? Oh. And I'm not sure without, without misquoting her. It had to do with love, like her pH levels, and it, it may have had to do with cancer, if I'm not mistaken, and it's to You're rebalance. Go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, vagina. Yeah. She, Go back to vagina, just vagina. vagina. Yeah, yeah, vagina. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so. Yeah, it's a cream and not a gel. It's right? a cream? Yeah. Yes, yes, Where is this cream, cream available? <laughs> I bet, I bet SuzanneSummers.com. <laughs> but I was glad because it's not a shot, which I would never. No, no, no. Manly guys aren't going to take shots. No, we real men like creams. <laughs>